My name is Leon. I have studied the power engineering in China with special degree and have worked by China State Grid over three years and in 2002 I go to the, I went to the Germany study at the University of Karlsruhe also with energy system and automation and then 2005 I have worked by Siemens in smart grids business unit about six years here with different projects for the whole world and 2011 I came to Berlin for the power supply companies by dispatch centers. The future of the power industry, from my point of view, should be um, sunrise industry. Otherwise, uh, many people say it's the sunrise industry, no future, no innovative development. But from my point of view, because of the high developing of the IT and the communica communication systems, the energy industry should it or has, has to be also combined to the IT technology and uh, for example for the smart grids, for the e-energy, internet of energy with the high integration of the renewable energy resource and in this case we have so many things to do and to improve our tools, our communication tools, our calculation tools and so on. The relationship between the ICT and the smart grid is very easy to understand because for each smart, not only smart grid, smart traffic and smart city, they have the same concept. At first you have to get the information from everywhere, from every equipment, and in second step you have to make decisions. You have to make sense, okay, I shut down this power plant or I control the traffic light and so on. And instead the third stage you have to perform it, you have to perform the decisions, then you have to need equipment to control them, to accept the command and to deal with them, to increase the overtage, shut down or switch on your power lines and so on. I think now in Germany uh, we have two directions, two different areas to make the smart, smart grid in true or to improve our smart grid concept. The first one is of course integration of renewable energy resource because in this summer we have already over 50% the um, solar um, generations of the whole peak summer load. This is already not, this is only solar and the, you can also add, add it to your wind and the other energy resource, this is already 60 or more. And for that, of course, you, you get a huge data, you have so many problems because the renewable energy resources, they are all unstable. The prog prognosis, forecasting, analyze and storage of the data, they are all difficult and they are also in a huge, huge, <coughs> huge, uh, huge mass. And in this case we need, of course, the new uh, more bandwidth and more or faster CPUs or servers to do, deal with that. And uh, you need also many different experience, uh, different sensors to get the, your information as correct as you can. And the, on the other hand, um, the energy system is not anymore se separate from the, 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 the normal life of the people because in Germany they have liberalized the whole energy market. That means the four features, the separate from the generation and the grid, the separation of the transmission and distribution, the separation of the trans distribution and the sales, and the 100% free energy trading market. This is the four features of the liberalized uh, energy market. And in this case, in the sales side, you have in Germany, for example, they have over 900 sales company to the con to the end users to. To, to offer different tariff and different charge planning and a different saving program and analyze your consumptions, improve your energy efficiency for the small enterprise and so on. In this area, they have so many small companies or research centers to deal with the problem to combine the IT, combine the traffic, combine the energy consumption equipment and to the energy systems. So I would say in this area is actually high, percent, uh, high potential and should be innovative in next years. Since um, I have got to know the first um, Huawei engineer in Egypt, deal with the, together the projects in Egypt for the uh, power supply companies. And at the time it's 
set a very difficult for the Huawei to improve the image, to sell the product, to introduce their concept to the customers. But as we've seen, five or three, uh, five and six years, they get in in the oil uh, in the oil market, and they have not only for for example only the uh, for the communication system. They have also for example now the inverter of the solar park. They have data server of the wind, uh, offshore wind park. They have many different pro uh, products in this area combined with the electricity markets. And I think, from my point of view, um, how we should be um, try to should try to um, offer the customers with the whole solutions in terms of their products, but also by means of different partner together to offer the solution to the customers to overcome their problems. Because, for example, Huawei, Huawei can offer or produce the data server for the offshore wind park or from solar panel and also analyze them, store, store the data in storages and then uh, make some solutions. You have to change the wind park in this location speed and so on in this case.